All right, so welcome to Pay Kickstart. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to do is, of course, log in. The URL to do that is app.paykickstart.com. Don't worry about the rest; it will automatically redirect you here. And you're just going to put in the email address you use to register and the password you use to register, and click the sign in button. All right, so the first thing that's going to happen when you log in is you're going to see this pop-up over here. It has some useful information that uh, Mark will present you in the little video here and a quick start guide and so on. Uh, you'll probably only get one of these messages. I've got quite a few because I actually haven't, uh, you know, marked them as read. Um, but uh, this is sort of a, a little tool, a little modal to try and help you um, get everything set up and get you started. Uh, but obviously, since we're doing these video series, we don't need these. So I'm just going to close it down. And uh, so here we are. So this is Pay Kickstart. And of course, I've got a bunch of zeros everywhere. So these are uh, dashboard statistics. And we'll cover that, obviously, in a later video. The very first thing you're going to want to do is just set up some of your personal information, link up your PayPal account so you can get commissions. And of course, um, you know add your company information and and that would be your first step and then after that we will set up permit gateways in the subsequent videos so without further ado let's proceed top right hand corner there's a little hamburger menu when you click that it'll drop down over here and the first place we're going to start working in is my profile so we're just going to go ahead and click that all right so usually it's quite good at finding uh, an appropriate avatar um but um you know, you're welcome to change this if you want to, maybe use a company logo or something like that. Your affiliate ID is something that you might want to uh, know later on. So in case you ever need it, it's over here in the, my profile. And then you're just going to want to fill in your personal information. Make sure that you remove this field. Your browser tends to autocomplete this. So when you make changes to the rest of the form, if you've got that password in there and you don't have a confirmed password, it throws up an error. So just make sure that you remove that if you don't want to change your password at the moment. Um, if you want to add your Skype contact details and your contact number, you can go ahead and do that. Uh, generally speaking, uh, PayKickSort is pretty good about finding your time zone automatically. But in case this is different or you want to set it to something different, you're very welcome to do that. This is the time zone that PayKickSort will use uh, to display all your transactions and reports in. So if a transaction comes in at 2 p.m. your time, you'll actually see it as 2 p.m. rather than uh, GMT or some other time zone. All right, so um, in your company details, I'm just going to fill in my company name here. And the address, of course, so. And I'm in the Western Cape. <coughs> All right, so here's the PayPal settings. So what you want to do here is you actually want to authorize your PayPal account. So you're going to put your PayPal email address in first, and you're just going to go ahead and confirm that. And this uh, PayPal account authorization here is just to be able to receive uh, PayPal commissions. So it's not to process payments or to do anything like that. It's just literally if you do have your PayPal account, if you do have one and you authorize it here and somebody wants to pay you via PayPal, they can do so automatically uh, using your PayPal account details. So um, I highly recommend you do this if you do have a PayPal account. Otherwise, uh, any vendor that you want to promote in future, uh, you know, if you promote any of their products, they would have to pay you by check or bank deposit and they will not be able to send money to you directly through PayPal. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and click Authorize here. It's going to ask me if I want to save my changes first. So definitely yes, otherwise I'll lose all the other stuff like my company details that I just added. So I'm just going to go ahead and save that. And it says I've updated my information, which is great. And now I'm at the PayPal screen, so I'm just going to authorize it quickly. Okay, and once it's done, it says I've granted the information, it's redirecting me back now. Alright, and if I scroll down, you'll now see that I'm linked up and it gives me the option now to disconnect it. So if you do need to change your PayPal account, you are able to do that. You just click the disconnect button, 
put your new uh, PayPal address in and click the authorize button again thereafter. Okay, so I can turn off some notifications if I want to. Um, so if I don't want to get commission notifications, I can turn them off. And if I don't want to get updates uh, notifications, so whenever PayKickstart does an update, uh, I can turn that off as well. All right. So uh, the tax form, you're going to uh, need to send, uh, or at least uh, a lot of the uh, US-based companies will require you to upload a W-9 if you're a US resident or a W-8 if you're outside the US uh, for tax purposes for the vendors uh, in order for them to be able to, um, you know, it's a, it, in order for them uh, to have the correct paperwork that they need uh, to be able to pay the commissions uh, that you generate. So uh, speak to the vendor in, um, that you're actually applying for uh, to receive these documents and you can upload the file here and then in future it will always use these this information for any vendor that you apply for. So, so far all of this is really mostly for the affiliate information. Okay, uh, once we're done here, we're just going to go over to platform settings. Now, platform settings is mostly just for vendor information. Um, there's quite a few settings here. Um, nothing to be too afraid of. The uh, domain here. So this is useful if we if you want to create a short domain. Um, so instead of using Paykickstart standard affiliate link domain, you can set up your own one. Um, you can actually look at the knowledge base articles on how to do that if that's what you want to do. Um, for right now, for this quick start guide, I'm just going to ignore that. I'm not concerned about what the logo looks like, so I'm going to ignore that. Um, all right, so multiple currency. This basically allows you to display your um, different currencies based on um, the uh, visitor's country that lands on your landing page. So what PayKickSite will do is it will auto detect the visitor's country based on their IP address and show them uh, how much the uh, product costs in their currency. All right, so if you've got a payment gateway or something like that in which you're charging, uh, say, uh, euros and a US visitor lands on your checkout page, it will show them the price in US dollars and it uses the um, the most recent exchange rate, about an hour. Uh, it's accurate to the hour. Uh, it uses openexchangerates.org in order to figure out what those exchange rates are on an hourly basis. So um, it does adjust based on the real-time exchange rates. So that's something to bear in mind. Um, and the base currency is just uh, to let you um, choose which currency you would like to see all your statistics in. So if you're, uh, I recommend that you just set this to whatever your payment gateway is going to be. So if you're in Europe and you want to use euros, I would go ahead and just use euros here so that you see all your reports in the euro currency. Um, so I'm just going to turn this on and I'm going to set the default country to United States. Um, because uh, I'm going to use PayPal um, and I already know that I'm going to be selling in US dollars. So this is going to be how I want to do that. Uh, API key is not important for now. That's for custom integrations. You might have a developer build something custom for you. Um, so we don't want to do that. You might have a developer build something custom as custom application. But for quick start, that's not uh, too important. All right. So affiliate settings, how you want to actually... Um, uh, deal with uh, affiliate requests. So as each affiliate comes in, uh, do you want to uh, manually approve each request or do you want to auto approve them? Um, and then when you do approve them, uh, you do have these three options here on how, on what kind of approval you want to give them. So lifetime uh, commission per visitor basically means if the affiliate sends you any traffic at all at any point, any subsequent purchases that that visitor makes, you're going to basically give the, vend the that affiliate credit for um, for that purchase and all future purchases of that visitor. Um, per customer basically is similar in that, um, but the difference is that the um, visitor has to actually purchased something first and then the affiliate will get credit for the commissions uh, for that customer for any future purchases of your products as well. And then of course you've got your standard one which is per campaign which basically means that the affiliate gets credit for uh, that specific purchase uh, for the campaign that he promoted and he doesn't get any credit for any future purchases that that customer may make of other products in your um, in your portfolio. 
All right, so I quite like the lifetime commission per customer basis. It gives uh, affiliates incentive to continue promoting your products. And of course, they quite like the fact that um, they you know, can make sales from other products uh, and they may not have even uh, done any real promotional wor work on those products. So it's a win-win situation. So I usually go for that one. All right, so then under subscriptions here, if you're selling subscription products, uh, PayKickstart has an internal dunning system so what it tries to do is it tries to recover your subscription um, fee if the payment fails um, it sends off an email to the customer saying hey your payments failed uh, please update your uh, information your payment details and it provides them with a link where they can go and update their payment information to keep the subscription alive and so these three options or these options here allow you to manage how that should work you can do it up to three times and then right at the end it will cancel now right now it's not going to try at all so the first time it fails it's just going to cancel the subscription which of course i don't want i would rather give them uh, three tries so I think I will f uh, try one day after the first attempt so first failed email I will retry a day later um, if that doesn't work I'll give them three days and if that doesn't work you can give them up to seven days but just bear in mind that you're adding them so if you've retried after one day that's one and then you retry three days after that that's four if you retry five after that it's nine days okay so you've given them a nine day period to actually rectify the account, which is more than enough in my opinion. If you want to give them uh, 11 days, it's up to you. Um, or, you know, you can even stop here. So you can give them four days and cancel. It's totally up to you how you manage this. All right. And then here, of course, the only option is to cancel the subscription. If you want to give them only two or one, you can just say, stop trying to collect payment like that. Okay, um, right down here, you can also, um, if you're selling a product which you know you can't uh, ship to specific countries or uh, you can't promote to specific countries for whatever reason, you can go ahead and enable this and uh, select which countries you don't want um, to be able to sell to. And then PayKickstart will automatically redirect anyone that's, uh, you know, um, anyone from that country to whichever URL you, you tell PayKickstart to redirect them to in this block here. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and click save here. Okay, and that's it. So we're pretty much good to go at this point. It's got all my settings saved. Um, and from here, we, uh, we've done all the, the, the basic setup and now we need to set up a payment gateway and that we will do in the next video.